booster that breaks every height and speed barrier is here. Top Thrill Dragster. It's the fastest at 0 to 120 miles per hour in 4 seconds. It's the tallest at 420 feet. The first and only Stratocoaster on Earth is now open. Cedar Point's 16th coaster. Top Thrill Dragster. Want to go? Got the guts. Cedar Point. Absolutely amazing. Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio is home to some of the world's most thrilling roller coasters. But there's one coaster that stands out from the rest. Top Thrill Dragster. Standing at 420 feet and reaching a top speed of 120 miles an hour, Dragster is a true marvel of engineering. Top Thrill Dragster was the brainchild of Cedar Point officials, who wanted to create a coaster that would break records and push the boundaries of what was possible in terms of height and speed. They worked with Swiss roller coaster manufacturer in Taman to design and construct the ride. When it opened to the public on May 4, 2003, Top Thrill Dragster became the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world. It stands at a towering 420 feet and reaches a top speed of 120 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds. The ride's unique design is modeled after a dragster race, with riders seated in two rows of two like race car drivers. The train is launched from 0 to 120 miles per hour in just a few seconds, and then races up a 90-degree vertical tower before dropping back down and going through a series of twists and turns. The construction and design of Top Thrill Dragster was a major feat of engineering. The ride uses a hydraulic launch system, which was a new and innovative technology at the time of its construction. The ride's mechanics and engineers had to overcome a number of technical challenges to make the coaster a reality. On paper, the engineering breakthrough behind Top Thrill Dragster's launch catapult looks pretty simple. At the starting line, the passenger train hitches up to a cable-driven shuttle. When you launch, the cable pulls the train down the track. At top speed, the train releases from the shuttle, catapulting you up the tower. It's like a giant slingshot. To generate that kind of acceleration, the cable pulling the train has to wind around a huge 12-ton drum extremely fast. It's like a winch on steroids. Powering the drum is a huge 10,000 horsepower motor, the equivalent of 10 Formula One race cars. It may sound simple, but in reality, it's an engineering nightmare. First of all, cables are great for pulling trains up a lift hill at 15 miles per hour, but catapulting trains at 120 miles per hour is a whole new ballgame. Even slight changes in the weather affect air resistance and track friction, altering the launch velocity needed to get up and over the tower. Sometimes what happens is you get launched with too little power and you experience the launch in reverse. Oh, it's quite normal for the ride not to, to make the tower. That happens uh, frequently, um, usually in the morning, uh, sometimes when there's a weather change. Uh, the ride basically uses the data from the last launch to calculate how much force it's going to throw the next train at. And if there's some sudden change, like the wind changes direction or it increases speed, sometimes something as simple as the sun going behind the cloud can, can cause a rollback. Top Thrill Dragster's launch mechanism is powered by a hydraulic system that uses a combination of pumps, motors, accumulators, and a launch cable to propel the coaster train from 0 to 120 miles per hour in just a few seconds. The launch system is located in a separate building adjacent to the coaster, and it is controlled by a sophisticated computer system that monitors and regulates the pressure, temperature, and other variables involved in the launch process. Here's a breakdown of how the launch system works. The ride station platform positions the coaster train onto the launch track, which is located at the base of the ride's towering vertical tower. The hydraulic system starts building up pressure in the launch system by activating several hydraulic pumps that are connected to a large accumulator tank. This process takes several seconds. When the pressure in the accumulator reaches a certain level, the computer system activates a large electric motor that drives a hydraulic pump. The pump pressurizes a hydraulic fluid, which is stored in another accumulator tank. The pressurized hydraulic fluid is then released into a large hydraulic motor, which is connected to a launch cable that pulls the coaster train forward. The launch cable is attached to the coaster train's catch car, which is responsible for holding the train in place until the launch sequence begins. Once the launch cable pulls the catch car forward, 
the train is propelled forward by the launch system, accelerating from 0 to 120 miles per hour in just a few seconds. As the coaster train approaches the top of the vertical tower, the launch system disengages, and the train coasts through a series of twists, turns, and high-speed maneuvers before coming to a stop at the end of the ride. Since its opening, the Top Thrill Dragster has broken several records and won numerous awards. It was the first roller coaster to exceed 400 feet in height and the first to use a hydraulic launch system. It has also been featured in several TV shows and movies, including an episode of The Amazing Race. But the ride hasn't been without its challenges. Over the years, the Top Thrill Dragster has experienced occasional downtime and closures due to routine maintenance, weather conditions, and technical issues. Unfortunately, workers have been dismantling sections of track and the coaster's loading platform for months since the park announced in the fall that the attraction was being reimagined after an accident in August 2021 severely injured a park customer. State investigators spent months looking into the cause of the accident and found loose bolts, signs of wear, deformation, and impact marks on train cars and sections of track over the spot where a metal plate broke from the ride and fell. Investigators concluded a piece of metal described as about the size of a man's hand struck Hawes. The woman, 44-year-old Michigan resident Rachel Hawes, was standing in line August 15 when she was struck by a piece of the coaster. The plate that dislodged was attached by bolts and was supposed to hover just over the track and a series of sensors that kept tabs on the ride as it made its way at breakneck speed up and over a 420-foot tall hill in 17 seconds. When it opened in 2003, Top Thrill Dragster was the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world, but those records were surpassed in 2005 by the Kingda Car Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. On September 6, 2022, Cedar Point announced that Top Thrill Dragster will be retired in its current form and that the park is working on bringing a new and reimagined ride experience. In 2023, Cedar Point announced that Cedar Point's legacy of roller coaster innovation will continue with a one-of-a-kind addition to the park's world-renowned ride lineup, coming in 2024. Our entire team is hard at work, creating a new formula for thrills. Stay tuned for more details on this exciting new coaster coming to the roller coaster capital of the world. We can't wait for you to experience it. Top Thrill Dragster is a testament to the human drive to push the limits of what's possible. Its record-breaking height and speed will continue to thrill and amaze riders in 2024, making it one of the most iconic roller coasters in the world. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next episode of Coaster Archives. Leave suggestions on what coaster we should look into next. See you again very soon.